Hello, my name is Julio Anel and I'm a naturalist at Walter B. Jacobs Memorial Nature Park, which is one of Caddo Parish Parks. Welcome to an introduction to acrylic painting program. Today we're going to paint a black cat goldfinch. Here is the photograph that I printed from the internet. And the substrate is going to be 6x6 hard canvas. It's a half an inch flat head, a medium size angular, a small flat head, and a liner. The paints that we're going to need are burnt umber, deep yellow, crimson, permanent black, and Titanium white. A ruler will be useful. So I had a, a 6 by 6 piece of paper, same size as the substrate, and I sketched the bird. And I put some uh, proportion indicators for you all. So basically we're going to start with a diagonal straight line with the ruler and you're going to measure the head uh, three quarters of an inch the body is the body is two inches and the tail is one inch and there's the branch if you're ready let's begin the direction of the bird is going to be like this, kind of. So what are our measurements? Tail, one inch. So the, here is the tail. And then the body is just about two inches, one, two inches, about here. And then the head is three quarters, one, two, three, almost up to here. It's going to be... So it's gonna, I'm going to start making it round up like this, perfectly round head. Almost like where the head ends. Just a little curve and a D. Like that. And then we're going to make the tail. And there are some feathers here, kind of like a little triangle. The leg comes right where this I'm going to leave the background white. I'm going to paint my silhouette of the bird with very very light uh, yellow. I can't do it white because I'm going to leave the background unpainted. So I'm going to just draw the sketch that I prepared for you. Since it's a small picture, I'm going to use Mostly, I think, this uh, small flat brush. I would like to get the head first. So there are three rows of feathers. There's a big one here. I'm trying to, I'm going to make it lighter first. Let's, let's not start with too much dark. The direction of the feather is like this. 
the other one other from the other side is coming like this and this is there's the middle part here If you start painting the direction of the feathers the way you want with your brush strokes it will make it easier to shape the feathers feather details later on because it will kind of give you the shadow of the uh, paint that you should be putting on okay now I'm going to use my liner Because I'm going to do the, the head part, like again, I'm going to start with a gray. I don't want to make it pitch dark first, which is going to be later on. I just want to put markings almost where I want the dark colors be. So this is almost like half of the head is covered like this. This is called a black cat, a goldfinch. Again, with very, very light color. I'm going to add the shadows later. The beak. The beak is kind of extension of the head here and it goes all the way in. And very little tip is passing the head because it is kind of looking halfway turned halfway, not from totally to, from the side. We're seeing the bird looking halfway towards us. So the beak finishes here and it's kind of like, it's not upward, it's kind of downward. They have very little beak. If you have seen these American uh, finches, gold finches are the tiniest birds with the tiniest sounds and I'm going to continue the head it's kind of like from here right like that see the very little tip of the beak is in the open the rest is inside because it is it's turned halfway towards us and I'm going to arrange the eye it doesn't pass this the end of this black mark the cap and if you imagine the line of the beak it kind of follows this line it's kind of in the same line like this with the beak. Okay. All right. Now I've the basics of my uh, painting. I'm going to start details right now. I will start with the head. I want to get rid of this first. This line. I just draw it to show it to you. I didn't mean to be there. It's, I will do the cap. Let's make the cap real dark. Perfectly round head. And then continues around the eye
Did you see this peak here? This is right the middle of the beak because it's not looking perfectly to the side. It is a little bit turned this way. So here is, that's why this is kind of round like this. And the I'm going to add some yellow here to start making this look a little bit orangish. And then I'm going to add darker stains with black. The stains are not really black, they're a little bit grayish. It's like a shadow. I don't want it to be really visible. I just want to blend it now with the orange beak. I don't want a perfect line here. We want to blend in. And there's some gray shadows. the tip. And a little bit shadow here. This is not the color of the feather, it is the, it's just the shadow. I'm just using water to dilute this shadow. Okay, I'm I'm painting here again yellow but mixed with black. So it's kind of like darker yellow. I think I can work on this a little bit later. And then this the same darker yellow. There are shadows here. Okay, I put too much. I think This is too much. I'm gonna get rid of this a little bit. I'm using now, I'm using deep yellow. This is deep yellow right now. I'm going to go with the orange elongate the bottom part.
put some white kind of like shine to the top beak light is hitting from the top and very light color here okay. and I'm going to go ahead and put the shine on the eye too okay let's do the details on the wing now there are two colors black and white let me put the first row there's the first row here very short and then there's a I mean big feather here a large feather it's kind of like their thumb <laughs> feather there and then from here there is a group that comes like this I'm gonna complete the rest like this and then there's another big chunk here again Again, this is one big feather here, another big feather here, so there are two big feathers. And then there's another group that comes like this and then there is and then there is another group that is like this So this is one, and there's another one like this. And this part, the wing from the other side is coming the same way, like this. And then at here, kind of imagine a middle line here, the feathers are like this. <clears throat> when we once we group these feathers the way we want then we can start putting the details the whites and the shadows and everything else I'm going to put the whites on the uh, wings now. Pure white. So there is one line right here, one tiny line. That's one. A bit. One tiny line we put right here. And there's another group of white, the tip of the feathers just right here. And then there is some white like this. And tip of this, the edge of this, this first big feather here, one single feather, is kind of whitish shadow. In fact, you can kind of pull your white back like this to give the texture of the feather. This one doesn't have that. 
Okay. Again, another some white lines, right? I'm gonna start from here to here because it kind of fades away as it is going towards the tail. edge of this feather, these feathers, kind of like the tip of this group, very slightly white, and these V-shape ones, there are white lines at the tip of each of them. You can see the feathers coming from the other side. Very little part of them is visible. We can. I'm. I'm going to put some dark lines here a little bit more because his wings are really dark, especially here. But uh, let's do the other white parts. Some white patch here. Oops. Okay, too much water. I'm just gonna take care of that. And there are very fluffy feathers here, so we're gonna just try to do that. I'm gonna add some shadows with gray, maybe. This is Let's put the white first, so we know where we're going. It's kind of like dirty yellow. So they're underneath the tail. Uh, shady area. That's why we're going to make these some darker. This bird is really fluffed up so I'm gonna make some fluffy feathers here. Now I'm going to make these wing black parts a little bit blacker, you know, like pitch black, because that's how they are. I'm not going to touch the whites because I want them to stay like that. Even whiter, I'm going to put some white. There are some blacks here. And I like the way this I like the way this one looks. Let's add some darker ones here. Let's make these dark lines even darker. There are very thin white and black lines here, kind of like white is at the edge of the each feather, that's why they are very thin. Okay, we're 
making these a little bit more visible. I'm going to make the whites Let's not make it like a blob. There are very thin lines here because there are feathers. Very, very, I'm trying to draw very thin lines, but it's not happening. I'm going to go over this with black two minutes, too. The whites are too thick. There's a little bit of kind of folding feathers here too. Very thin, very, very, almost invisible. <coughs> I'm going to go over this with black. I just want some shade of white there. That's why I did it. Couldn't draw it. Okay, some gray. This part is a little bit more shadowy than this. So I'm going to kind of gradually make it I will try to draw stiffer lines to make them look like feathers rather than <coughs> fur. When it starts curling up, it looks like fur. Don't curl the edges. And then you can blend in the top part. I think this is Let me add my black. There is a very tiny of white at the tail, but not totally white. Okay, I have some yellow here. I'm gonna get rid of that. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. This ends here. I think I'm done with the bird. Now I'm going to do the branch and the legs. The legs of this bird is not black. It is
I'm going to use burnt umber for the branch. But like oh, I always do, I'm going to do it for first very light. Okay, here is the branch. It's a very smooth branch, obviously. To make them round looking, I'm using my shorter brush. And to the top of this branch, I'm going to add a very thin line of light.
brown to make the shadows. There's a knob here and then the back. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with the feet anymore. Uh, we have completed our uh, black cat uh, gold finch. Here is mine. I really enjoyed uh, painting the bird. 
here is the plan. We're going to paint in the, in the uh, coming uh, three uh, acrylic painting programs of our park. Uh, we're going to use the same substrate and paint three more uh, songbirds. Uh, I'm planning to paint uh, next time a wren and then a cardinal and then a fourth one. Uh, if you guys uh, have any bird, songbird in your backyard, in your mind, let me know. I can include uh, as the fourth one. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.